I know some of you are probably paging through your books at this point in time and saying, what did he do with that gospel? Well, it's a long gospel, so I left out a few paragraphs at the beginning, paragraphs that we heard in our first reading today. And I focused on that calling of the first disciples. And that's always been an, an intriguing experience or, or image for me. Can you imagine yourself having someone come up to you, you supposedly had no other contact with this person, and they pitch to you something new, something that you don't know about, something that you're unsure of what is going to happen, and that you immediately say, sure, and drop everything that you're doing and follow them. Well, I'm not sure I'd ever do that. I think I want some questions answered first. Like, first of all, what's in it for me? Or secondly, well, what's this going to mean? And what demands are you going to place on me? And what am I going to have to do for you? And is this going to be something good? Is it going to be something exciting? What's it all about? Is this a good thing to do? Or is this not a good thing to do? But what we encounter is the disciples dropping everything leaving behind their life, their life as fishermen, uh, their life as probably family men, though I'm sure they continued to interact with their family or were home for part of the time. What made them make this step? Sometimes I think that there, we, we lost some information between the lines that Maybe they had encountered Jesus before. Maybe they had seen him do some miracles or do some preaching and th they warmed up to him so that when he invited them, they were willing to step into the experience. I don't know. We'll probably never know whether this was their first encounter or someone, some other kind of encounter down the road. Uh, we'll never know what made them step into this. But I think... Our gospel today gives us a little bit of food for thought. Uh, and maybe the question we ask ourselves is when Jesus walks into our life, uh, do, do we recognize his presence at that moment? Do we immediately say yes and, and enter into what he's invited us into? Or do we struggle in those moments? Uh, do maybe we miss opportunities to encounter Christ and, and, and to be gifted uh, by his invitation to live life perhaps a little bit differently. So we have some food for thought on this late January Sunday. Uh, and, and maybe uh, that's our challenge today and as we go forward to think about those moments when Christ enters our life.